Welcome back, Hare Krishna, dear souls. Um, we're going to do another meditation session all together, hopefully, because you never know what is going to happen in the material world. So I'm going to say, dear souls, that they're in the world. Um, yeah, everything's always changing, and that's the nature of material nature, as far as I understand. In the ancient yoga meditation wisdom, there's ancient yoga meditation texts in ancient India. Um, explain that that is the case. As far as I'm aware and can remember, I apologize if that's not the case, dear ourselves out there in the world, but what we'll be doing, I think, is we're going to be doing something a little bit different, um, maybe, singing a yoga prayer. Actually, no, I changed my mind. <laughs> the mind can be like that. We're going to stick to the same program, actually. So, for those of you who aren't aware of what the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation is or involves, in other words, dear souls out there in the world, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed into a 16-word slash named, in other words, sentence, dear souls out there in the world. Um, which just goes, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Rama. And I'll say it one more time, maybe slowly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And maybe another time slowly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And uh, it's okay if you've got. So I'm going to say you haven't gotten the hang of it yet. There are cells out there in the world, also. Um, but uh, from what I gather. Um, probably more like plural um, souls, in other words, if that makes sense to souls out there in the world. So um, we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Maha Mantra music meditation. That is my preference, personally, musical singing style, um, especially when it comes to, you know, sharing this sacred and um, authentic and uh, fulfilling and satisfying mantra with others, you know, it's really nice to uh, do it together, you know, musical style, um, so even if you have instruments, you can play along with this meditation, um, if you're good at playing by ear, or, or not, that's really up to you, you can hum this mantra with me, sing this mantra with me, shout this mantra with me, scream this mantra with me, sing this mantra with me, Think this mantra with me if I hadn't. Ah, sorry, if I haven't already said that yet, I'm sorry, dear souls out there in the world, I'm going to say. Dear souls out there in the world. Um, yes, so we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Mahamantra music meditation. And uh, the melody may change from time to time because that's also my style. I apologize if that uh, gets on anybody's bad side. Um, but good or bad, you know, that's always changing. Because, again, it's on a material level. Um, so, you know, this is a way that we can immediately go higher than all of that, you know, nonsense, you know. And I don't say that as an insult, you know, I'm full of nonsense. You know, my mind is full of nonsense. And so this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra slowly dissipates over time that nonsense you know, um, all of the chaos that's going on within the mind, um, which leads to certain behaviours, a certain kind of character, as far as I'm aware, you know, thoughts, obviously, that is the nonsense, and uh, certain feelings as well. And so all of that changes, gradually, gradually, but very powerfully, you know, once we start to implement or apply, in other words, to ourselves out there in the world, the Sari Krishna Maha Mantra to our lives. So we'll begin. Um, okay. So I'm going to use my hands instruments because I have no other store bought instruments with me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Krishna
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, oh, oh Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you all dear souls for joining in together. This is a group effort, it always is. You know, in my experience, um, when more than one person is involved in these group kinds of meditations, it's even more powerful, you know, and what makes it even more powerful than that as far as I'm aware, but also as far as I've experienced is when each individual is putting their heart into this Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation. Without heart, yes, the meditation still has power and effect because that is the influence that the Hare Krishna Mahamantra has on the heart. This really is a heart process. You know, it can be so easy to get caught up in thinking, oh, this is a this process or a that process. You know, oh, it's my clothing right now clean enough you know and if it's not then oh i'm finished <laughs> no it's not about that you know we're gonna be in various circumstances all the time so how can we be one way all the time externally it's not possible in my personal experience anyway it's not you know you go outside and probably immediately petrol fumes are just clung to your skin because that's the world we live in, you know. Um, you know, what I mean to say is there's no absolute on the material level. You know, everything is mixed, you know, and there's really nothing we can do about it on the material level, you know. So that's why it's so important to simply act sincerely according to our position. So um, whatever circumstance you're in, if you're working full-time, part-time, studying, um, not working, you know, whatever situation you're in, simply approach it with your heart through this meditation. Um, I would warmly recommend, you know, because this meditation is going to simply expand the heart. Um, and we can see these great saints and souls who walk the earth currently and have walked the earth from what I hear, you know. Um, their hearts are just oh, dripping with love, you know. That goes beyond the body and mind, you know. People talk about making love, which is a bit of an R-rated topic, I apologize, dear self out there in the world, as if that's the recipe for genuine love. Um, but according to the ancient yoga meditation wisdom, these ancient yoga meditation texts from ancient India explain um, that's not the case. You know, it simply leads to headaches, in other words, frustration. And it's just about, okay, I must stop everything I'm doing, you know, even though I'm attracted to doing this or that. No, um, simply by expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Gradually, gradually, naturally, without force, the attachments that you once had, they fade away, you know. And does that mean that we stop living in the world and stop doing anything, you know? No. Um, you become unattached, but you still engage. Um, and so the way in which you engage with the world is completely different from what I've seen of these great saints and souls. Um, and I'll also say one more thing um, that might be of help, you know. Um, it was definitely helpful to me, you know. I was going through a rough time, and um, there's this great, sweet, uh, I hope they don't mind me saying that, saint and soul, um, who I won't reveal their name because 
you're not a swami and I want to protect your privacy. Um, you know, I was telling them at the time that um, I still have this attachment and it's causing me a lot of grief. And um, one thing he recommended was, personally, he said, um, you know, when you've got your, you know, meditation beads in your hand um, and you're expressing this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, treat these beads like uh, the hands of the divine and each bead to be the divine's fingers. And so actually when you hold on to your meditation beads, you cling onto them like they're a person's hand and like you're a child. You know, the way in which a child just grabs onto their father or their mother's or their parents' um, uh, hand in complete uh, desperation and, you know, just wanting to give yourself over. Um, I apologize if that was like a deeper um, meditation to explore. I apologize if you're new to this video. But I only repeat this because it had such a huge impact on my life. And then I really took that as my life and soul. And it completely changed my vision, you know, and the realizations that I got. I have to say, unfortunately, I don't treat my meditation in the same mood as I used to. That's something that I'm aspiring for. You know, it's really about the mood, as far as I'm aware. The heart, the... Uh, you know, um, just giving yourself over to the meditation. Um, and we might think, well, does that mean that, you know, you'll just forget everything else? No. Um, uh, you know, for those who want to try to allocate a time for meditation, you know, that's what I'd recommend. Not allocating a time specifically, but if you have allocated a time to treat it in that way, you know, um, sort of, if you have reserved a time where you don't have to do anything else, you know, but, um, yeah, even at that time, you know, I was busy. I had a busy life, you know, I was studying, you know, I was living with family, so a lot was going on, but still, I treated it in that way. And then after a while, you find that, um, the mood in which you approach, sorry, I mean, the approach this core meditation, this love process, far outweighs any material arrangement that you have currently, because it's going to change anyway. So it's about, you know, what do we make our life and soul? What do we put our heart into? Pardon me. Um, our heart, pardon me, Hare Krishna, I should say. What do we put our heart into, um, our heart energy, so to speak, in other words, dear souls out there in the world? Um, and I wanted to share a little story that happened today um, where I uh, was walking um, out of the supermarket and I saw someone in their car and they waved at me. And so... Um, I, maybe, I'm just paraphrasing from memory, I apologize, dear souls out there in the world, but I must have kept walking a little bit, and then I walked back, and then I went up to the car, and I waved at them, and I think they opened their door, and, uh, so I asked them if they'd like a free meditation, and I sometimes carry these, at least currently, uh, sheets of paper with the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra on it. Um, and they, so I mean to say, I think they said yes. Um, and so I gave them the sheet and they said thank you, I think. And um, then uh, I explained that what this meditation does, it soothes the heart. Um, and then I think I gave them the sheet 
and they said thank you and then I was walking off and then I walked back and I asked them you know do you have any um uh, sorry do you have any concerns or questions and they said no thank you thank you <laughs> and um Oh, I think after I explained how the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra serves the heart, they put their hand on my shoulder and they just gave like a um, caring smile, something like that. But then uh, after all that, then I walked off and they walked off. But, you know, that's just another example of how, you know, a lot of us out there are really craving a heart process because it's almost like we're done with all of the cardboard nonsense, you know, um, we want more, you know, something higher, something that provides more pleasure than what we're currently experiencing, um, where, at least in my experience, everything that I was doing to myself or to other people, it just saps the very life energy out of you. And then, at least in my experience, I was left feeling depressed, or lonely, or anxious, or stressed, and that would accumulate and accumulate, and, uh, yeah, no real solution. Um, so this is a way in which we can genuinely go deep into our heart, clean it out, clean all of that gunk which we all have. I apologize if that sounds like an insult, but um, it's just a fact. You know, everything that's been accumulating for years and years, you know, um, it deserves a good scrubbing, so to speak. And the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is a way in which we can scrub all of that dirt out gently, gently, gradually, gradually, until many saintly qualities emerge and deepness of heart and deepness of realization and clarity of mind by which you can then cut everything with a knife, so to speak, metaphorically, of course. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the talk there, um, the session, and uh, thank you all for your um, sincere uh, endeavor to keep hearing the uh, transcendental names slash words but they're really names, um, you know, that just allow us to actually access our heart from my personal experience, because I've been in a situation where I was doing so much to myself, you know, abuse, that it became almost impossible to feel. I felt so numb, you know, and I wasn't taking drugs, you know. I felt so cold almost maybe a numb, and uh, that, you know, it's not how humans are meant to feel, we're meant to feel things at the very least, you know, and this is never, ju so I'm going to say about judging if you're in that situation, you know, um, it's simply about, you know, uh, trying gently, 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 um, three times or more, I always encourage more, or at least I am now, I apologize if I haven't before, because that's important, you know, just massaging the heart in a genuine way, you know, that goes beyond massaging um, the body, you know, which again provides very temporary um, cessation in my personal experience of some sort of tension or anxiety, you know, and then it comes back again, yeah. So this is just a way to dissolve all of that completely, permanently. Hare Krishna. Um.